morning. It's so wonderful to be in the presence of the Lord this morning. Today is a significant day in our lives of the church. Today is the day that we celebrate and remember the day of Pentecost. It's the day when the Holy Spirit was poured out upon us. That we no longer just had God with us and God on us, but we have God in us by the power of the Holy Spirit. What that means to us as a church is the word that Jesus spoke and prophesied over us is fulfilled. He said, my sons and my daughters will prophesy. My young men will have vision and my old men will dream dreams. Today, as we look at God's word, suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a mighty rushing wind. This morning in our lives, I pray that God would infuse you with that mighty rushing wind. That out of our bellies would start to flow rivers of living water. I'm not talking this morning about a religious experience. I'm not talking this morning about goosebumps. But I'm talking this morning about the power of the anointing of God being released from us that will touch a lost, a hurt, and a dying world. This morning if you're sick, this morning if you've got infirmity in your body, this morning if you're depressed or weak or just feeling not on top of your game, you don't have to look at the ceiling and pray and hope God comes out of the ceiling to meet your need. This morning, the very power, presence and anointing of God resides in you as a believer, as a born again believer. The power of God resides in you this morning. And so you just have to ask God and let that release come out of your heart, come out of your spirit. Let's pray together this morning and ask God for a release of the church. May the church arise to fulfill what God has called us and instructed us to be fulfilled in. And that is the gifts, the power, and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Would you join me this morning as we pray? Father, thank you for your anointing. Thank you, Lord, for your power. Thank you, Father, today we can celebrate the day of Pentecost. We can celebrate because you sent your Holy Spirit. You're a comforter to those that are mourning. You're a comforter to those that are in distress and sick. You're a healer to those that need healing this morning. Holy Spirit, thank you for who you are. We worship you, Lord. We acknowledge you and we bless you for putting in us the power of the Spirit of God to flow through us, flow out of us, and flow from us, that we may be your disciples and we may be that which you've called us to be. Thank you, Father, today, that today we will rejoice in you. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your word. And thank you for your blessing on our lives. In Jesus' name. Go and have a great Sunday. Go and have a great Pentecost Sunday. Enjoy your service. We love you and God bless you.